I'm Corey Inglado. And I'm Nika Inglado. Uh, we met in high school at La Habra High. I used to wait outside uh, right by the band room for uh, my grandfather to pick me up. I worked for him and Nika would wait out there and, and that's where we met. Well, no, you, he gave me a flower and um, I kept it forever. And then I was too embarrassed to ask for his phone number because we talked every day after school while we were waiting. And then the rest is history. I had to call and talk to his mom back in those days. So we have two boys. We have James and Jackson. James is three and Jackson's two. They're 16 months apart. Uh, took us two years to have James. Yeah, it took us two years of trying before she became pregnant with James. And then I was at work one day and James was not very old. And she said, I'm pregnant again. And I said, perfect. And so we didn't really try with Jackson. He just. Nico always calls him the bonus baby. Yeah, it's our bonus baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was a union iron worker for 13 years. Um, and then within the past little over a year, I uh, traded professions and I'm, in, I'm an apprentice in the uh, union of elevator constructors, local 18. It's been a good trade. I made the uh, career transition because it afforded me more time at home with my boys. This past year, I've been able to be home with them more, make dinners with them, eat dinners with them, bedtime stories, bad time. It's just. It's been a welcome change. Um, currently, I'm employed at Rose Hills. I um, am a funeral services director. It's pretty fulfilling and enriching. Uh, the last six years prior, I was working as a bookkeeper. It's a good change. I'm just not as home as much, and I'm also going to mortuary school. We started coming to the warehouse when Potters merged with the warehouse. Uh, my mom, Paula Campbell, had invited us. The boys loved it. They do awesome there. I really like it there. Nika loves it there, and it's just it's been a great thing for our family. Well, I told you why not. Yeah. After I had been bugging you for two years to go to church. Yeah, for the yeah yeah. Since James was born, Nika had been wanting to get James, and then when Jackson was born, both the boys involved in a church, and she wanted to get involved in a church, and I was a little hesitant. I grew up going to church, but I didn't. I've always had my faith, but I didn't always act on it. And and actually, since we've been coming back to the warehouse, I've actually kind of renewed my relationship with uh, the Lord and started living my life uh, that way. And I'm glad she convinced me to come, especially to this church. This is a great church. Yeah. I'm involved in ushering once a month. Um, I enjoy doing that. I get to meet a lot of different people. Some of the people I serve with and just some of the people that, you know, you're helping them find seats or or just saying goodbye to them at the end of the service. It's been It's been a good experience. I would say that from the first time we not just stepped into the uh, church, but into that courtyard where everyone's drinking coffee and hanging out before church. It just feels like a big family and everyone's welcoming and introducing themselves. And, and I had a little, you know, some nerves coming in and, and not knowing anybody and just right away, everyone's introducing themselves and, and making you feel welcome, making you feel like you belong there. And if you're looking for a church to come to, this is a great place to feel accepted and, and, uh, and just, just the love, there's just a lot of love at that church. It's a relationship on top of building, like faith building. And so it's really nice to know there's a lot of people out there who are, the struggle's real and we we'll all just get together and love on each other and I like that.